A lot of people smoke at my school, like outside the school or in the hallways. Um, I've only smoked one cigarette, um, I guess like one and a half. I think I just smoked just because I was bored and my friend offered it to me and I was just like, what won't hurt? Um, I didn't really grow up in a queer community, but I've definitely noticed now where I'm more where I hang out around queer people more often that queer people are more likely to do things that are um, in a way self-harming. We have more pressures to uh, feel okay and fit in with our friends. I don't think I've seen a whole lot of smoking advertisements. Um, like the main way that I've been introduced to smoking is just through my peers and people smoking around me and people on the streets. We have convened a group of uh, Gay City volunteers and staff to uh, survey convenience stores in the area around our neighborhood in Capitol Hill to determine what kind of, if any, uh, tobacco advertising is happening in convenience stores. Uh, so, you know, if there's a targeted demographic, if there's uh, stores that have uh, candy right next to uh, cigarettes or alcohol, uh, just to see what the environment is like in Capitol Hill. Oh, you're doing something that people don't want you to do, so we're gonna do it. You have a group of like kids smoking on the side of the street. They kind of have like the like the cool image. What I've heard from like a lot of my friends, why they started smoking was because it was socially what they did. They were hanging out. They were with friends. Their friends offered them a cigarette, and they were like, you know, just one time we're on a road trip, or hey, we're all just hanging out in this park. You know, it's like it's a group thing. It's a friend thing to smoke.